A pretty unexpected twist in the warm sand sexting case tonight. Yeah, the defense is now arguing a possible cover-up, and the testimony that was supposed to end today is going to continue. Good evening. Glad you're with us to start your weekend. I'm Chris Long. And I'm Brooke Barry. You'll recall the men accused of having sex in public in Palm Springs want the charges dismissed. They claim the Palm Springs police officers discriminated against them for being gay. KPSB Local 2's Arthi Nehru has been following the case today. Arthi, why this latest twist? Chris, the defense believes a detective offered to erase part of the recordings made by police in the warm sand sexting, so they're calling that person, Detective Frank Guarino, to the stand to find out why one comment is not on these tapes. The evidence he was offering to erase was Sergeant Anderson's uh, very inappropriate comment, what's been commonly referred to as the gay, sl uh, gay slur. In his testimony this week, Sergeant Brian Anderson said he told the detective not to erase his comment, and that's why it's still on tape. Police Chief David Dominguez also made an inappropriate comment, but that's not on the tapes. And one of the things we're trying to figure out now is, was, was basically was the chief's comment intentionally erased. He's not hiding anything. And even if it's erased, what difference does it make? Even if it worked, he admitted that he said it. The district attorney, Earl Roberts, points out the camera was not recording the majority of the time during the three to four day undercover operation. But the defense is trying to prove police discriminated against homosexuals. If you have the very head of the department hurling slurs at, at potential suspects, that obviously, I think, points to a discriminatory intent. Chief Dominguez explained the comment slipped out because he was shocked after seeing people engage in sexual acts in public. Dominguez retired in part because of warm sands. Today was his last day. After 31 years of the kind of service that he has had, um, it does make me sad that it ends on this note, especially when I believe that these allegations of discriminatory practices on the part of the Palm Springs Department are completely unfounded. Detective Guarino will take the stand Wednesday. Closing arguments will follow, and a decision in this hearing could come the same day. Live in the newsroom, Arthur Nehru, back to you in the studio. I think this just seems to get more and more interesting every day, and we'll learn a lot more by next week, right? That's right, Chris. Next Wednesday is the big day. All right, Arthur Nehru, thank you.